The anticipation that comes with kicking off a new season is always through the roof. With multiple tags in hand, it's critical to have a plan of attack on how you're going to move back and forth across the Midwest as the season progresses. Usually, when you are in the planning stages, you are hopeful that success will happen along the way and keep the fire lit. In reality, plans are just that, plans. Nothing is guaranteed and sometimes you just have to keep your head down and dig deep when things aren't going in your favor. After all, you never know what's going to walk around your tree after 55 days. It is Saturday, 9-11. Salute all the people that lost their lives on this day. But uh, we are headed out right now on a brighter note to go shoot our bows. We're gonna play a game of cricket. Sounds like it's gonna be JP and I versus Randall and Goulash. I think Randall and Goulash lost the other day. I wasn't here, but I heard they lost the grapevine. So they're looking for redemption. And JP and I are gonna try to not let that happen. But we're gonna go shoot our bows. Right, come in, hang out for a few hours, eat lunch, and then we're heading out tonight with high hopes. We finally got some cooler weather. It's only supposed to get up to 68 degrees today, which is 20 degrees cooler than yesterday. So uh, hopefully we can get a big buck or two on the ground tonight. Two, just a little. That was it. So I'm gonna pull it right down a little bit. Two. Well, we didn't get them today, but we're gonna get them tonight. Didn't get them today. <laughs> didn't get them the last time he played. No, but we're gonna get the jumbo tonight. Uh, All that we're matters. Just good at shooting deer, not targets. targets. Just snuck into the bear net here. We're actually in the same spot that uh, Dylan killed on Monday night, so five or six nights ago, whatever it was. We've got several good bucks in this area showing up on the trail cameras. There's three really nice bucks, two hammers. Gonna try like hell to hold out for one of the two big ones. East Siders rolled out this morning. I headed back. I gotta be back for work tomorrow. So it's just Brennan and I in camp. It's gonna be that way until uh, Tuesday. And then Mike's gonna roll in um, and then he'll hunt with us for the week. So we weren't gonna originally hunt tonight. Um, we just were trying to play it safe on some of these bucks that we're hunting. But uh, one of the spots we actually don't get a, a good win for very often. And, and the deer that we're in after actually Dylan and I hunted them a couple days last week. Just got settled in the tree here. It's going about six o'clock. Gets dark right around 8 30. Hopefully we can see him on his feet early. We know kind of where he's bedding. Dylan and I seen him about oh it'd be almost five days ago I think it was. We are down to about the last five maybe ten minutes of light left. 
deer just got on their feet probably 20 minutes ago. We've seen a few does, smaller buck, and then about five minutes ago we laid eyes on one of the bucks that that big one's been running with, but there are good ways out yet. I mean, they would have to really make a move. That big one would have to be in here pretty quick. It is Monday afternoon. JP and I are just getting ready to head out. We weren't sold on hunting tonight, but the weather has been kind of crummy all afternoon. It's been raining pretty hard all afternoon, and uh, the radar shows it's stopping here in a little bit. So we are gonna go climb into Baronet. We want to get in there and, and probably shed the rain gear once we get in, but uh, we don't want to get soaked on the way in and out. So we're gonna slip in there slip out of our rain gear and hopefully it's sunny and 70 in the blind and uh, this rain blows out of here and these deer get up tonight. The rain moved out probably half hour, 40 minutes ago. The wind has died down to almost nothing. The skies have cleared up and it is absolutely beautiful out here right now. The cell cams are starting to pop off at all of our other spots, deer on their feet moving. North Dakota for quite a while. Warm weather came in, deer kind of shut down, so we uh, came back. JP had a wedding this last weekend, and now we are repacking and getting ready to hit the road. We're going to run up to uh, or run over to Nebraska and uh, try some public land over there. Um, Alex Comstock's cousin is local to one of the areas we're going to go try to hunt. Uh, he's kind of pointed us towards a couple pieces of public and he's kind enough to give us a place to crash, so we're gonna take advantage of it. So we are just trying to organize our mess, pack light, um, going to Nebraska, then probably from there up to North Dakota, then maybe to South Dakota, then back to Nebraska, and then we don't really know. We're just gonna give her hell and hopefully we can kill some deer here. We are less than an hour from our destination in Nebraska. We ain't gonna hunt tonight. I think Caleb's actually gonna drive us around and show us some of these public pieces. Just kinda get stuff marked. Just got all settled in at the Comstock residence. Met Caleb and his family. They are taking good care of us. Pretty much letting us invade their house. But uh, Caleb is gonna run us out right now. We are gonna check out uh, some public spots that he knows of and thinks are gonna be worth our time so we're gonna roll out there we still got a few hours till dark Caleb actually threw a camera out here um, four or five days ago on a mock scrape there's spike? a spike I think it's a little spike spiker yep that'd be your biggest Nebraska deer
just threw a cell cam up here on the edge of this green field. We've seen a few fresh rubs, a few fresh scrapes. So there's obviously bucks in here. So we'll probably just let this uh, cell cam soak in here. Go check some other spots. Um, we'll probably be sitting in here at least once a year in the next few days. Our plans of hunting this afternoon completely fell through because of the storm cell. Radar showing it being wet till about 8.30 tonight. It gets dark at 7.30. So we're getting more cameras out. It's our first sit here in Nebraska. We got in here in this area on Wednesday just in time to kind of drive around and do some scouting. We scouted all day yesterday. We were planning on hunting last night, but we got rained out. We're finally in a tree. We're actually set up in a spot that Caleb uh, tipped us off on. We threw a Maltry cell cam in here, um, right another 40 yards down a couple days ago, and uh, actually just yesterday. And it had some daylight activity on it last night, one decent buck some does, but we're putting a lot of faith in uh, kill drift here tonight, blowing our wind up in here. We'll see what happens. We've got about two and a half hours until dark. Yesterday, we got 45 minutes of time to 
Hopefully get something to happen here last night here in South Dakota for the first trip of the year. Like a wolf in the night, I'm alone in the fight. I'm not gonna give up this time. Bear my teeth, bear it up, raise this edge. Will I fall or will I take flight? I won't be hunted. I am the hunter. Brent and I are in North Dakota. We had just awesome temperatures and conditions last night, and we got skunked. <laughs> so we came into this spot tonight. We already seen a deer, so that's that's good. And we're on the right track. It is. Uh, it's a rainy one. You can run, 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 but you can't hide, You can run, 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 but you can't hide, hide, hide. We have officially landed in Kansas. Our luck has been uh, less than ideal for the last month. Get ready to head to South Dakota. All day sits, start tomorrow. Maybe we'll get lucky, get a hot dough through here and things will fire up. It's been a really good morning so far. Just passed up our third buck in the morning. We got out of the tree last night at dark in South Dakota. Drove to Nebraska. Any day now, something's gonna be loose. We're running out of light here pretty quick. It's been what Nebraska's been for the last six, seven years for me. We're gassed. We're gonna get a good night's sleep and get the road for Iowa in the morning. Just hit the road, pulling out of Nebraska and we are heading to Iowa. We can hunt tonight, tomorrow morning, and then we gotta go back to Wisconsin for my dad's funeral this weekend so we'll be out of commission for a few days but uh, hoping to get over to Iowa to check a couple of cards before this afternoon hunt um, a couple different spots we got in mind with the south wind uh, I just want to go check a couple cameras and make sure we're making the right decision so uh, that's the plan we should get to Iowa midday run and check a couple cards then we'll jump in a tree for the afternoon ran in pulled a couple cards we are gonna pop them in the computer see what's running around on that farm Was going to be tough. Um, 
it's a lot of CRP in here, a lot of bedding. And sure enough, we jumped a pile of deer on our way in. We had a doe and a fawn out in the CRP to the south of us. Hopefully these deer calm down. But the, the good thing is, deer can roll in here from anywhere, so. comes. into the cavity. 
I have no idea. I guess we just gotta hope we got lucky. But the way I look at it, he's either dead right now or he's not dying. It's 20 to 12. We tracked that buck for, say, 250 to 300 yards. He took us all the way up to the end of the thick stuff. <clears throat> we kicked him up. JP seen him. I didn't see him, but uh, he said he was moving pretty good. So I think it's a non-lethal hit, but had to check. Like I said, with the shot, I figured he was either dead right away or he wasn't going to die. And I don't think he's going to die. I feel like we gave it our best effort. Um, we're going to pack out of here. Be a tough pill to swallow. We got a few days off. That's bow hunting. If it hasn't happened to you, you haven't hunted long enough. Fortunately, it happened on about the toughest year we've ever had. It's warm, it's in the upper 40s right now. 
They're calling for rain. Oh, late morning, midday. Sure enough, he walked past twice in the daylight. 
So we're here. We're gonna sit all day. Oh, he's not the only shooter in here. He's just the one that's been walking past the camera. your baby. I don't even know what to say. We're sitting here, we've just had a shit storm of stuff go on all season. We had Swoop get by us this morning. We saw this buck earlier this morning. All of a sudden I look up and he's coming right down the tree line. He's got down out of the tree. No more than got down, we were starting to strip layers off. Had another good buck on a doe. Bring it right down out of the CRP and right across the creek bank. Closest he got was probably 30, but the doe walked past us at 20. Definitely a big mature deer, but uh, we got our own lane over here dead, so let's go look at him. 
To say that we earned this guy would be a complete understatement. I think JP added the days up. We spent in the field this fall. I think we're somewhere around 55 days right now. It's been a very trying season. My dad's been battling cancer and we lost him about a week and a half ago now and it's just been a struggle this year. Trying to focus in the woods and uh, just been praying for peace and this one's for you, Dad. No doubt about it, he sent him right, right down this tree line, right in our lap this morning, and I could not be happier with this buck. After a tough couple months of hunting, it's hard to beat the feeling of coming out on top. All the frustrations and failures surely don't ever leave your mind, but when the cards go your way, you're quickly reminded why we are so helplessly addicted to the pursuit.